Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Um, today I've decided it's a miserable day out there, so let's make ourselves even more miserable and look at how much this eventing scene has cost me. Um, I do have to caveat it, I, uh, YouTube is just a bit of fun, so I do not make a business out of it. Uh, we earn negligible money even though we're monetized, like equivalent to around £30 a month each, so we do not get anything out of YouTube, so it's certainly not subsidising the cost of our eventing. We are a teeny tiny channel. We also don't get anything for free, so this is the full cost. What I do have to um, caveat everything with is I do work full time, so I've got a pretty good job. Also got no children, so that is a massive cost saving. And then finally, I don't own Incy, um, somebody else does. So that means I don't have to pay for her shoes and I don't pay for her vaccinations. What I do own is Robbie, so that cost is still coming to me, but just not mentioned on this video because I'm purely looking at what Incy's cost me this year running BE. So, not really sure why I've done this to myself, but here we go. Here's the start of my season. So, Oxdoll's 100. I think this was back in March. But you're not going to see any video on this because it was cancelled. So, my entry was £120.18, which you're going to see is quite a familiar amount. I was then also doing um, eventing on pay as you go because you pay £30 for the rider, £30 for the horse. But it was cancelled, so I got a refund of 80 because I got um, my pay as you go feedback. Also got my start feedback and like 30, 40% of my fee and entry so it actually cost me 50 pounds and 18 pence uh it's the difference between unaffiliated and be is be you do not get everything back unaffiliated you tend to only get charged 10 or 20 pounds so there is a big difference on this uh i then entered oxtals again uh because they decided to run and this time it did actually run so I entered the 100 wasn't the best day um two down show jumping where she was quite full of it but she did go around the cross country really well so £120.18 in entry, £10 pay-as-you-go fee, and so the cost me £130.18. So it takes my total for what I've spent so far, £180.36 on just one event running. And then head to Colmston, had a pretty miserable time in the show jumping where she was just absolutely full of it. And after that, we stuck her on reg Regumate again, £120.18 in entry then had your 10 pound pairs you go fee and it cost me 130 pounds and 18 pence so it takes my running total 310 pounds i then go to mendip plains and um it was raining raining the ground wasn't very good by the time i was going to run cross country she doesn't like the wet and the mud so i paid 120 pounds and 18 pence for the entry £10 pay-as-you-go fee, so a total of £130.18 to do dressage and show jumping. And it wasn't even particularly a good dressage test either, which is even more galling. So running total of £440.72. I then head to Nunny, which is a beautiful event um, and only runs once a year. And £120.18. All in all, this was a much better day. And... Uh, we came home with a rosette. Um, so for one rosette, I think it was sixth or seventh, we got paid £130 and a running total of £570. So, so far my season has seen one rosette and that's what it's cost me. Launceston, see her being a little spicy there. Launceston was a pretty bad day. <laughs> well, it was a good day and a bad day. I haven't explained the full story of Launceston. So at some point you might see that. Um, and it cost me £130. Missed out on a rosette because I got too fast time faults, but there is a reason for that, and you will see it at some point this season. So £701 is my running total so far. Kingston Moorwood, another absolutely beautiful event. First one um, they've ever run there. Uh, it was another £120.18. Pay-as-you-go fee, £10. And then, so £130. And my got another rosette. So I've now got two rosettes for the grand total of £831.26. Haven't even won a hoof pick. Um, Bicton Regional Final. I became a full member of BE. So that was an additional cost because you can't do it on pay as you go. And because it's a regional final, you have to pay extra money. So for your extra money at Bicton, we had a posh dressage arena and three extra fences on cross country. And the total is £144 to do a regional final. Nobody ever tells you or discusses the cost of trying to get to Babington Grassroots. It, that it is a lot more expensive because your routes are either to do a big regional final, which is £144, or to go and 
go to Bicton, which you'll see later is an extortionate cost as well. But we don't ever discuss that. Instead, we all just, you know, highlight how wonderful badminton is. But if you don't get there, it's cost you an awful lot of money to get there. So my running total is £975 for the year for two rosettes and not even a hoof pick. Solihull Novice, well, Novice, normally if you go up a level, you expect it to be a lot more expensive. But there is a difference between events that have VAT and don't have VAT. Solihull doesn't have VAT. So the no entry was £117, which is cheaper than a normal nov uh, 100s I've been doing. Takes my no total to 1093 My top advice is if you want to save 20%, then look for events without VAT. But they are getting less and less because those events are disappearing because they tend to be greenfield. Uh, Solihull being an equestrian centre is a little bit rare, um, not having the VAT. So a little bit surprising, but very good value if you want to go and find an event with, for that. So recommend Solly Hole for good value. Wellington One Star is another level. It is absolutely extortionate to do FEI. Um, if you're a multi-pro rider with several horses, the balance works out a little bit better. For a one-horse rider looking to do one event for the season, um, then the costs are insane. Just to wear a tailcoat and to go round a BE course that was I have to say, was not very impressive. Uh, entry was £191.54. You also have to pay £19.19 £19 for drug testing. Drug testing itself is very, very expensive to run horses' bloods. And so the cost, um, they only tend to, to trial two, one or two horses, so the cost is split out amongst all the competitors. So it was a bucket list item. I've always really, really wanted to do one, but... You have to say to myself, was it really worth the cost? Because there you go, there's my FEI membership. So I have to pay that on top of my BE membership. I have to pay £118 to the FEI. It used to be a lot cheaper, but they've put the costs up because apparently admin costs are a lot higher. So total cost £328.73. And and it is expensive and takes my running total to... See it in a second. Where is it? Ah, uh, £1,421. Yay, my lucky bank account. But ticks off a bucket list item. And it, I would have to strongly consider whether it's worth doing FEI again in the future. Chillington Regional Final, 100 Again, more expensive because it's a regional final. So £144.25. To have a day in the rain uh, with an, and um, not a very great cross-country experience. So that was quite a long way of travel as well. Uh, so total cost 144, takes a running total to 1,566 pounds. So, so far 1,526 pounds for two rosettes and that's it for the season. Siren Sester Cotswold Cup. Now I can see why people love the Cotswold Cup. There's no membership costs. So straight away, you're gonna sell for yourself 185 pounds. You have a championship in the same year, which you qualify for. So you just have to go to events. The championship looked amazing. The cross country was really good. And you can see why it's so popular. Look at the entry, 99 pounds. And you have no membership or any other costs on top of that. Uh, you know, this is why BE is struggling against what Cots World Cup because the value for it is immense. I've got several friends that do it, really have a great time. And, you know, it, it's of a really, really good standard. And the prizes at the championship were £1,750 to the winner of each level at 80, 90, 100. And yet the winner at the two star at Cornbury, which has amazing prize money, only won £1,200. Just incomparable. Um, so for amateurs, the Cotswold Cup really stands out as an amazing event. So total cost for that was £99. And takes my running total to £1,665.25. So Cotswold Cups might be stronger for me next year, but just because they're such good value. I've then entered two events. Obviously, there's no video attached for those because um, I haven't gone to them yet. So Bovington 100 I've entered. Bovington is a nice little event in Dorset. And again, it's a VAT free one. So it's £100.15. So as you can see, save yourself £20 because of the VAT. Uh, grand total £100.15. I've just entered the 100. One running total 1765. And that takes me to the very last event I've entered for the season. So my bank account is hemorrhaged and ruptured. And I've got some serious savings to do over the winter because that's how I tend to manage my finances. So my entry is £310.21 for the three day. That is a lot of money. And I'm not even, 
Um, so stabling is £165, but I've decided not to stable for this event because I reckon my fuel will be less money because I'm an hour away from Bicton. So I'm going to drive up each day. Also means I don't have accommodation for myself because I've only got a trailer and um, I don't have to pay for food because I'll be at home. So it's a, going to be a pain in the ass to drive up every day, but the cost of what it will save me makes it, it doable for me because effectively I think I'll save £400 by not staying there. Also, none of my friends are going, so it's kind of like, do you know what, it'll be just another event and won't be quite so much fun as other people have, but you have to lie it all lie it all together and work out what's going to work for you so my running total for events of the season is 2075 uh, so on top of that we have membership costs for BE so obviously I started the season as pay as you go which is 30 pounds for the rider 30 pounds for the horse if you run at less than nine events pay as you go is far better but you can't then qualify for regional fight you can't go to regional finals on a basic membership you have to upgrade your membership so my grand total for membership costs this was 185. They did take off the 30 pounds each on um, the pairs you go that I'd already paid. So that was one thing. And so I wasn't paying 185 from scratch. I'd had it. I was actually paying 120, 115. And so now I've just chucked in some of the rest of the costs, which are also pretty uh, momentous. Um, Obviously, I am very privileged and have a good deal um, where I don't actually pay for the horse's things like shoes because she's not actually owned by me. Don't worry, though, I still pay for those costs because I have Robbie. So we've got horseshoes at £800. It's now working out about £100 a set for me with including stud holes. And I have two stud holes in every foot because I like them to be properly balanced. Horse feed is £300 uh, roughly for the season. That includes supplements. Obviously, Incy is an ulcer horse, so she has extra supplements compared to some minerals and things like that um, and then some you can do it cheaper but obviously with a horse like that you have to make sure you're doing it properly uh, I reckon I probably spent about 700 pounds on lessons um, my regular trainer who I go to Joe's around 45 pounds an hour which is great value but someone like Alex Bragg is 80 pounds 45 minutes so it's a lot of money Diesel is a big cost. I reckon that's been about £1,400 for the year. I've travelled a lot more this year than I've ever travelled before. We're losing events rapidly in the southwest, which means I am having to get out and travel more over two, and, two hours, two and a half hours. So I've done that a couple of times. Wellington, obviously, I went backwards and forwards over the weekend twice. Uh, physio, I've probably spent around £200 a year. Vet, obviously, that's slightly higher. No, it's just the vax and... Um, get our teeth done by the vet because Incy needs sedating but also Incy goes to the eye clinic every year to have her eyes checked because obviously the leptospirosis caused damage and then I've also included bits and bobs at £400 so that's wrapping up anything I haven't included uh, probably quite a lot on photos this year and um, ecro reels probably spent um, Jerry bought one ecro reel I bought the other so I have actually personally spent 60 quid but overall we spent £120 on ecro reels alone should buy them in December because they're 25% off in December, so that is a lot better value if you do want to buy Equirils. So it takes me to a grand total for the year of an eye-watering amount of £6,560.56. Now, my other half is going to be watching this video because he does watch my YouTubes and he does not know this. I think I'm going to get uh, quite a lot of questions about this because that is a holiday to the Caribbean for two of us. Um, so, yes, sorry about that. Uh, not so... But I uh, haven't got children, as I've mentioned before, and this is what I spend my money on. So whether it's justifiable or not justifiable, I don't know, but it'll certainly lead me to evaluate what I want to do next year because it's an insane amount of money. But I'm also not going to be able to retire because pensions are not very good anymore. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed that. Not able to compete here last year, so 